the statement talks about brothers and sisters in Christ being exterminated and having to flee from their countries, whole families, villages and cities being destroyed. And there's an urgent appeal on behalf of both leaders to the international community to act urgently to prevent the expulsion of Christians from the Middle East. And we can see now the Pope and the Patriarch embracing evident signs of joy on both their faces for the signing of this common declaration, which really does mark the beginning of a new era of relations between Moscow and Rome. And the two leaders are now going to address a few words to the journalists present. Господин Президент Республики Куба, дорогие братья и сестры, дамы и господа, мы провели два часа в открытых братских дискуссиях. Sus entidad, sus excelencias, hermanos y hermanos, your excellencies, uh, dear brothers and sisters. Now we have just hold an open discussion with full awareness of our own responsibilities of what we're doing for the future of Christianity and for the future of the civilization itself. Una, una conversación this is a con mucho conversation with a very good conversation that gave us the opportunity to understand and hear the positions of the other. Results of this conversation give me the opportunity to say that today two churches can work together to protect Christians from the whole world. Y los resultados de la conversación me permiten asegurar que actualmente will assure that both churches will continue to work closely together in with all the Christians in all of the world. Y con plena responsabilidad trabajar conjuntamente que no sea la guerra against war so that life, human life, can, be, can develop in the entire world, and so that, it, so that the basis of human and family and social relations, morality, can develop, and so that through the participation of the church in the life of human society, modern human society, that we may glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. A continuación, palabras de su santidad, el Papa Francisco. Slova y vos vitejo estaba Papa Francisco. Santidad. Santidad. Your Holiness. Eminencia. Eminences. Vos vitejo estaba vaso visoco vos caditel estaba, dragi e brati e piscopi. Hablamos como hermanos. We spoke as brothers. We have the same baptism. We are bishops. We spoke of our churches. We believe that unity is done in the walk of life. Hablamos claramente sin medias palabras. Without any middle terms. Yo les confieso que he sentido la consolación del Espíritu en este diálogo. Y a vos veréis que la realidad de nuestra conversación. Y a vos veréis que la realidad de nuestra conversación. 
Agradezco la humildad de su santidad, humildad fraterna y sus buenos deseos de unidad. Я благодарю Его Святейшество за Его смирение, за Его усилия, которые Он показал, чтобы мы вместе искали единение. Hemos salido con una serie de iniciativas que creo que son viables y se podrán realizar. Целый ряд инициатив, которые, я думаю, можно будет со временем осуществлять. Por eso quiero agradecer una vez más a su santidad, su benévola acogida, como asimismo a los colaboradores, nombrados su eminencia, en nuestro político de León, y su eminencia, el Cardenal Koch, con todos sus equipos que han trabajado. Y para mí, yo quiero agradecer a la gente, a su santo, a sus ayudas, a la metropolita de la región, a sus ayudas, y también al cardenal Koch, por los esfuerzos que han traído para la preparación de esta reunión. No quiero irme sin dar Go forth from here. Un sentido, agradecimiento expressing my sense a Cuba, of gratitude for Cuba and for the Cuban people and for his, their president, Raúl Castro. Thank him for his active disponibility openness, readiness to give space for this, these talks of unity. For the glory of the Father, of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and for the good of the holy, faithful Church, and under the protection of the Holy Mother of God. Пресвятой Богородицы нашей Марии. So you heard there the words of Patriarch Kirill, followed by the words of Pope Francis, expressing both of them their gratitude for the opportunity to hold this meeting together in Cuba in the Cuban capital, Havana.